And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Karma. It's going to be my first time ever actually playing Ezreal Karma. This is the the big bad deck in the metagame. Um, this is, you know, like the probably the most popular deck and probably the best deck. Um, but, you know, it's not it's not perfect. It's not like it wins 100 percent or anything like that. But the two champions, Ezreal and Karma, are both incredibly good. Um, but yeah, I haven't played this deck before. It's Rank Up Sunday, so we'll play, you know, we like playing the Tier 1 decks on Rank Up Sunday. And it had had some people ask if, uh, to, you know, have a video with me playing the deck as well. So, uh, I'm sure you're all pretty familiar with the deck. And, uh, basically we're just trying to stay alive, get to turn 10. Turn 10 have, uh, Karma, uh, Karma Enlightened, so all of our spells are cast twice. And then Ezreal and uh, just cast a whole bunch of spells and do all that damage to the opponent. Kill him like that. All right, well, let's go play five games with Karma Ez. Or well, I guess Ez, Ez Karma. So here we go. So, Karina Control. We'll get rid of these. Oh, no. That's a lot of Thermogenic Beams. I was going to say, Thermogenic Beam is, like, one of, like, the only turn, like, turn two removal spells that, you know, like, we can play this turn two and kill um, an Elise on turn two. But we'll, we'll play the Pickpocket instead. Don't really like having trips. Looking like our opponent's the control deck, and we're the aggro deck. That's how, it's, that's how this has been playing out. I will play my part. Actually, gonna get one of these thermogenic beams out of the hand and just kill one of these right now. All right, so that's one Ezreal trigger. And then we can use Static Shock to clear up the other two. There's nothing to fear. Play Chump Womp. No. <gasps> yeah, so much thermogenic beam. Alright, cool. Glad I didn't just play Chump Womp. Too late for you. Could have been a lot of damage and stuff. Hmm. What you looking for? Like when I was supposed to play Chump Wump and then Thermogenic Beam Elise? I'm going pickpocket and then chump lump. Maybe I need to beam Elise. Oh, I guess I could have attacked for one. We'll see if that matters. Well, looks 
like they had another Elise. In hand. Um, nope, not you. you. I have come for the unforgiven. So down to just three cards. You'll serve me one way or another. Still need to target their stuff a lot more to flip Ezreal. Let me change into something more. Come together. If I want to Thermogenic Beam the Elise, that means I can spend three more mana besides it. So I could, like, play, you know, Ezreal. I want to just have Ezreal in play, but I probably don't want to just have Ezreal in play. Um, do I waste all the mana? Play this thing. That's card number ten. This is me going down to eight. This is this is spell number six to target. Bonin getting the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Kitty Dexterity. Look at some hype in the chat for our new sub. Our first sub of the day. They will learn to fear the sun. Behold. Thank you, Kitty Dexterity. Cool, get that Ledros out of here. Alright, so three damage, so we still get to keep Yone. I guess they could have three mana thing that kills. Oh, they could still kill Karma. I was thinking, for some reason, I thought they were tapped out. I didn't really look at their mana situation. We were just doing other stuff, and darn it. Ugh. I really should not have played Karma. Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. I don't need I just had in my head that they were tapped out, but that obviously wasn't the case. Well, that was a good draw. That gives me two targets for stun for Ezreal. Like a true swordsman. 
All right, so it's basically with them having the vengeance, yeah, you know, we are going to be able to respond. But now it's if they have another get excited as well. They've already played. They've already played some get excited though. They had to have an, another one, didn't they? Already played. They definitely played one right there. They play another one earlier also. Yes, they did. So they, I thought they did it at the beginning of the game. So they had to have their third get excited. I hope not. No, they do. Darn. Yep, GG's. I should have played the Karma when I did. That was that's what cost me that. I should have waited one more turn to play the Karma. I I thought they were tapped out. You know, I was I was doing the sub thing, I thought they were tapped out, and I turned back around and play the karma, and then I looked at their mana and realized they weren't tapped out, and that cost me that game. Dang. But Karina Control? No, Karina Control is not OP. No, I mean, I, I don't think... I mean, I think Karina Control is an underdog in this matchup. I just... I lost that game, but... I think they're an underdog in that matchup, and... And... Sure, Elise Burn with Ledros. It's just, it's called Karina Control. That's the name of the deck. But yeah, it's Elise Burn with Ledros. Get Excited kills Ash, so I'll keep one, but I don't usually like having it in my opener. Yeah, that's that's the name of the deck. Is Korean control. Um It was really good like two, three weeks ago. And had put up really good win rates and everything. Um but since then, you know, with people playing like the Undying, that that deck really, really, really struggles against the Undying decks. And uh, so like that's that's like the response that people had to that that deck in the metagame, and I don't think it's I don't think it's favored against uh, Karma Ezreal either Ezreal Karma. The games are close, but what's that you got there? Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it's definitely a good deck. I don't I don't mean to say it's not a good deck, but I don't think it's it's not OP at all. But it's it's a good deck. I need just a moment. So it's Why do we have three solitary monks in this deck? They cannot hide. I'm just playing the, I'm playing just like the, you know, the Mobile Addicts Tier 1 deck list, but it doesn't feel like this is a three solitary monk deck. Um, yeah, I'll go... Only the finest serve. Um, yeah. Karina control the a C here. There's the meta tier list. Um, you go down a little bit. There's the fourth deck listed. There is the Karina control. That's the deck. A six five. So 
6-5 is pretty big. I mean, so I could bounce the Assessor, but then the Assessor can just draw them more cards. That doesn't seem like a, a great thing to, to bounce. Yeah, I mean, the last time that we played Karina Control on the channel, we went like... Uh, I don't know, it wasn't... I don't remember, it wasn't good though. If we went like two and three, or one and four, or something like that. Yeah, two and three. I'll do it myself if I must. This seems like a really weird attack. Like, I, like, I'm really surprised they didn't just Glory Seeker take this and do that and then get seven points of damage in. Right? Like, wouldn't that make more sense? I don't know. Maybe not. That was a really good draw. Two as targets. Will no one listen? Nope, no one will listen. Babylon old Bjerg. Um, yeah, maybe it's better to ping the 6-5 than kill the 1-1. One, one. I, I, of course, wanted to kill the 5-1. My plan is to have the Yone. My plan was, like, the Yone with the 6-5, but... Yeah, maybe I should have just pinged it. Maybe just ignore Omen Honk. I could be convinced that that was the better play. For sure, I'm... Already being convinced. We're at six out of eight, so if I bounce these, we have five mana. So I can like replay like chump wump. Just passed? Cool. I'm sure they were expecting me to play by expecting or, or wanted. They wanted me to play um, something or attack and then they, then they would play that afterwards. Uh, do I want to... Where are we at? We're at 1 out of 5, and that thing's a 7-5. I 
basically wanted to see what I would get. So I bounce it. We're at seven out of eight. They can they can replay it, but then it's a five three, not a seven five. Hey, hey, Tummy. All the world on one arrow. The order rewards its faithful. No, one more mana. Shouldn't have played that thing that gave us the barrier, the key guardian. You gotta believe me. Should not have played the key guardian. Ten mana. Humility before power. I guess I probably could have just blocked the Omen Hawk. Played Team of Lad? I don't believe I have played Team of Lad. So fourteen, twelve, ten, six. Only put him down to six. Stop, stop drawing these solitary monk deny Yone wind chaser. Stop drawing these things. At least right now. I will unite the frail yard. They don't know what they're up against. Don't blink or you miss me. If they have no frostbite in hand at all, we win, but that's pretty unlikely, right? That's a lot more unlikely now. for the calling strike. This is like not even fair. Like I feel bad for my opponent. Like they have like a million cards in hand, have all these cool things in play. But they're dead. We'll give it a life steal and a barrier, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it's burst speed. So they don't get to respond. We could gain some life. Poor opponent. Felt bad for them. Yeah. 
That is kind of cool how you get the how you gain life from the pings. Yeah, you life steal the Ezreal. So then each each two damage Ezreal deals, you gain two life. That's that is pretty cool. Yeah, like I said, this is my first time playing this deck. Yeah, it does. I agree. It feels dirty when I'm with this deck for sure. Ezreal just dealing millions of damage. Garen Fiora. <laughs> Team of Lad. Um, I've played tons of Team. Teemo's my favorite. He's my favorite. Uh, Champion. I've played tons of Teemo. I don't think I've paired him with Vlad. Played a lot of like Teemo Draven. And I've played Draven Draven Vlad. But I just don't think I've combined the two and gone Teemo Vlad. Good game, I guess. Smell that? A bite to cook it. I don't know. Can you stomach this? Absolutely, Bannerman Zed's still viable. Absolutely. I played it yesterday. And, you know, we put up a good record with it yesterday. Strength and grace. Beauty in the flame. Yeah, absolutely, it's still viable. That's a bummer. So what do they have Ionia? Yeah, I already feel bad for my opponent. I just feel bad wrecking with this deck. What would their Ionia card be? Like, deny? Maybe? Maybe that's our Ionia card is deny. Don't blink or you'll miss me. Hey, no, it's all good, Varire. It's all good. Send me. Do you have if if you have a specific list that you really like, feel free to to send it to me, and I'll check it out and, and maybe I'll play it on stream. But yeah, how is Ori in the Will of the Wisps? I've played a little bit of the first Ori game. Just a little bit. Uh, but I, I really like it. I've only played, like, the first hour and a half or two hours. So instead of casting Thermogenic Beam for three, might as well just do Thermogenic Beam for one and, and cast the Mystic Shot, and that gets us two Ezreal Triggers. It's amazing. Did you play the first? Did you play the first Ori also? Uniform. 
I'm considering, because, yeah, that's a game, like, whenever we do, you know, whenever we have our next, um... Whenever we have, like, our, our next, uh, variety stream, that's definitely, like, up there. I, I kind of want to play or the Ori games, because they are really cool. Maybe play the first one, then the second one. I'm not sure how long the games are though. Like, if you could play them, like play the entire game in one setting. I think it may be a little too long for that. I think it may be like a, you know, like a 12-hour game for like one stream. All right, Anivia Thresh. Maybe it's maybe it's a two-stream game. I don't even know what I want. A Nevia Thresh? What do I want to do here? I want to get rid of this, this, this. I guess. Keep that. I don't know. Keep this too. I don't, I don't even know. I probably could have kept that thing too. I don't know. This is a really difficult mulligan hand. You're replaying the first story game right now? Okay. So the first story game. I must get out of here. Talk about it for just a second. Let me look at this up. All right, so Ori in the Blind Forest. So, because I have that on my Steam, like I said, like I've played like the first like two hours, and I've I've played that like with Boot. Boot got it for me, and and we played like two hours of it before. But there's Ori in the Blind Forest and Ori in the Blind Forest Definitive Edition, and it like gives you both of them right away. And I'm not sure the difference. I think. Um, nine i think it's like like the first one like the original version if you know you have to save a lot because anytime you die it just goes back to the um you know i'm not playing anything there and having them waste their seven mana by the way that's what i was doing Okay, they didn't polish the first game enough, so they add a little extra menus, fix bugs, and stuff like that. That's the definitive edition. Okay. Because isn't it like like the definitive edition? Like there's like a continue, so you don't have to like save all the time. If you die, um, then it like puts you back at whatever spot. You know, like some like the first one, it's it's you know, like hard mode, like games used to be, like where you you gotta save. If you whenever you die, you go back to the safe like wherever you last saved. And I, I'm not sure if the definitive edition is like that too. And I think, I think Ori, the second Ori, Will, Will and the Wisps, is not like that. I believe. I thought you'd never ask. Cool. certainly be a mistake okay so so basically are are the other 
So is the definitive edition and this and the second game are they both like that? Like where you, you know you go back to your go back to the save point? Like am I wrong about that? Because I'm not sure. Okay, so they're both like that. Okay, okay, that's cool. Because yeah, it is. Is you get to you create your own save points. And that is part of the strategy. You have to use you have to use energy to create a save point. Mm, that's gotta hurt. Ezreal is forever away from leveling up. Whoa. That's aggressive. So I still have 10 mana next turn after casting this, and I think that's okay. Want to get a second Static Shock target in. 10 mana lets us double get excited to kill the Thresh and have Deny for a removal spell on Ezreal. Lady Elise, where are you? Uh, no, it won't. It won't be today, Varier. No, it's no, it's okay. You did not bother me. No, it won't. It won't be today. I would have to like. You know, it, it takes a while to like make a deck and everything, and and, it, and then I'd have to get like a thumbnail. No, because like, I how I do it set up, I do like five games for each deck, and so no, I won't be playing. Bleh. I'm not gonna be playing a Teemo Vladimir deck today. No problem. Have a good night. I know you're if I just don't... Let's see. If I just, like, wait till, like, next turn, I... Like, if I just have Karma with, you know, double spell, this is, like, 6, 12, uh, you know, 16, 18. Like, this is just, like, 18 damage here. Could just let them kill the Ezreal. Could also level up Ezreal and have Ezreal be a 2-4 and Ezreal doesn't die if I just dealt Static Shock, Static Shock, Mystic Shot. Then Ezreal doesn't die. I'm just gonna kill the Thresh. I think that that's the play. But yeah, I had, I had three different options there.
bring peace so eight mana means I can static shock. The cost. Have deny available. Static shock can get four triggers to level up Ezreal. They're just passing. Is it better for me just to pass back also? No, I play this. I was going to attack afterwards. I was going to try to level up the Ezreal first and, and then attack afterwards. So Ezreal would be attacking for two instead of attacking for one. Now that's just going to be seven out of eight for Ezreal now. They don't know what they're up against. What? What? Did it still counted the other ones? Was that bugged? Shouldn't shouldn't that just been seven out of eight for Ezreal? It was three pings. Why was it three? No, it should have just been two pings, right? Yeah, that's what my opponent is saying right now. Like they're probably thinking too. They're like, what's going on? Yeah, I don't I don't understand what happened there. I think that, that must have been like a, a bug, I guess. Poor opponent, that's six you know, that's sixteen damage now. It's crazy. One mystic shot is eight damage. It's like that that's just eighteen damage is just Ezreal attacking and then two mystic shots. like that was the client having like that Ezreal was not supposed to level up there I think the client messed up but I'm not sure Okay, according to howlongtobeat.com, hey, this is the match that we lost earlier, but I said that we were favored. That's a good test. It says Ori in the Blind Forest is anywhere from like eight to ten and a half hours. That's the first Ori game. You name it, and then Ori and the Will of the Wisps, the second one, is 10 and a half to 17. That would have to be two streams. Don't have one mana. No. Okay. Am I supposed to key guardian that first? I don't know. Kind of like getting it in play.
There you go. We can we can guardian the the karma. It sure is, BJJ. Today is a good day. If I don't do that, then we waste one of those manas. I mean, they could have vengeance. Let none disturb my meditation. <laughs> well, they would. They would need vengeance. If I wait a turn, I can have Will of Ionia able to bounce the karma, if need be. Not, I guess not if I tap out though. Shouldn't tap out. Let's take this. I need no weapon. Where there is life, there is hope. All right, so the karma has a barrier, and we have. Deny. Alright, but they don't do anything. They just say no, no, thank you. What am I doing? We can take that. Gonna recall the karma. Compassion, not anger, drives us to war. Now they don't even gain the life. I still have deny or will available. They discarded. I think they discarded Karina Veraza. Karma didn't say no. No, I didn't see this, the Shadow Isle cinematic. Now, do you have a, a link to it? Tread lightly, strike hard. Pretty sure we have this with just um, karma creating too many cards. Fifteen. That was actually. Uh, that's actually really annoying. Because they have the attack token, and I'm at nine. I don't get to play Karma again. 
It's actually quite annoying. Twelve damage of um get excited. So they basically need vile feast to stay alive. But if they do have vile feast, I'm in I'm in a lot of trouble. No vile feast. Ambition in time. Exact lethal. All right, and another four and one. Rank up Sunday. Going really, really well today. Four and ones across the board. 80% win rate. That's definitely really good. Um, that's true. I would have the Static Shock next turn if they did have the Vile Feast. Um, but then, you know, if but, you know, like they were going to be putting us down to to like two there, so then you know maybe they have a Mystic Shot or get excited in response. But yeah, we could have still the game wouldn't have been over. I just would have been in trouble. Um, yeah, went. You know, this is just a really good deck, you know. Uh, I don't know how often, like, the pickpocket really ever does anything. And it feels like that maybe we should be playing, like, a health potion or two. Maybe not three solitary monk. Maybe, like, two solitary monk and a health potion. Um, but, yeah, I just took, you know, I just kind of took, like, the, the generic list that was off Mobile Addicts. Um, it's pretty good. But, yeah, health potion seems like. Just a great card in this deck. Um, but alright, but there we go. Ezreal Karma, Tier 1, definitely. Um, best deck in Legends of Runeterra? Good chance. Good chance this is just the very best deck. Uh, for now. But, you know, we'll see what happens tomorrow. You know, like, we're going to have... Uh, looks like we're going to have another patch tomorrow. Like, a balance patch that's going to update some of the cards. Um, thanks, BJJ. And, uh, so, you know, we'll have to see if anything happens to this deck. I'll be surprised, to be honest, if nothing happens to Ezreal, Karma, or, like, this deck just in general. I'll, I'll be surprised if all these, uh, sorry, if all of these cards, um, are untouched. Nine mana Harrowing? Dang, that makes that card better. Um, but, yeah, so that, so, like... That should be announced tomorrow. Then the patch should be live on Tuesday. Uh, that's the expectation. At least, you know, like the, uh, you know, second week of the month, every month, they have the, the balance patch. So I think we're going to be having that. Uh, but uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this deck. But then also, like, if you think that uh, anything is going to change with Ezreal or Karma, like, what, what would you do to balance these? Somebody said earlier that maybe Karma just says whenever you cast your first spell each turn, cast it again so it just doubles the first spell and not every single spell you cast like the first spell each turn but yeah let me know how you would balance these and it's always thinking like Ezreal maybe just does does one damage instead of two I don't know alright but that's it here for Ezreal Karma so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video